now we're joined by a very special man. We're joined by Marine Staff Sergeant Marcus Burleson. On December 9th, 2011, in Afghanistan, Staff Sergeant Burleson was kneeling over an IED. He was attempting to render it safe when it detonated, forcing, unfortunately, the amputation of both his arms. Staff Sergeant Burleson is now an advocate for service members as well as veterans. He's currently a program coordinator and developer for the Boot Campaign. And we're so honored to have you here today. Oh, thank you. It truly is an honor to come out and be here this morning. And Dean well, works with the boot absolutely. campaign. Absolutely. I, I, I took my, I did my photo shoot and uh, came out there and do anything to support these guys. When you meet somebody like him, mm -hmm. you, you realize, you know, that there are men and women out there really sacrificing and putting it all on the line. And, and we never get to say thank you enough to you guys. And it's fitting that it's here at Memorial, you know, on Memorial Day that we get to talk to you. Uh, absolutely. Memorial Day is something special to all of us. You know, it's a day that we sit back and reflect on all the guys that taught us so much that we didn't get to bring home whenever we wanted to. It was, it, it's a solemn day, but it's a day that we try and focus on the things that uh, were positive in our lives, all the things that they taught us and all the lessons that we learned that got us home. Reflecting back on that day and how your life changed, um, how are you doing now? Are you just coping with the changes? Do you... How do you take it day by day? Uh, I take it as a challenge. You know, yeah. you have to embrace the struggles that uh, God has given you, and either you can take it and make something out of it, and make something positive, and go forward and do great things, or it's going to eat you up and make you regret having gone through it. Bitter, make you bitter if you don't embrace. I had a guy they brought to me uh, very early on in the hospital, and he stood next to my bed and he told me, "It doesn't matter how bad yesterday was. It doesn't matter how bad the day before was." God granted you life today and you've got 24 hours to make something great mm -hmm. for tomorrow. Are you willing to take the challenge? Wow. It took me a long time to get my head around it, but when I finally did, it, it made sense and it's been my driving force ever since. Wow. You are definitely an inspiration. How, how did you get involved with Boot Campaign to begin with? We were just talking about this and it's, it's kind of interesting. It's the same way I got involved. It is. It was a long road. I actually got a visit from uh, uh, Chris Kyle and uh, Walter Reed. It was a long journey. Uh, we were hooked up through uh, my dad's boss. He was a good friend with the boot campaign and helped get them all started. And he told Chris that I wanted a copy of his book. Mm. And I wanted it delivered to the hospital by Chris. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And, and the kind of man he is. <laughs> he did. He went on a journey. It took him six months to build up the courage and get everything together so that he could go to the hospital and deal with it. Uh -huh. And he came and he sat at my bed for six hours that day. Wow. And we talked and shared stories and laughed. and. Him and Taya, they were just the most amazing people. And from that point on, I just, I've just i been a supporter mm -hmm. and a volunteer and then finally a staff member. And now we're moving forward and we're doing great things. Wow, what an honor you got to meet him. It, it, was, a, it was a huge honor for I me. I know, he was a friend of yours. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, an amazing individual. And you hear things about him. When you hear something like that, yeah. that's not something that ever got publicized. No. That he spent six hours at your bedside yeah. and, and he came there. And that's the kind of person that he was to give back. And that's what you're doing now. Absolutely. Which is so amazing. And, and uh, hats off to you. You're an inspiration to so many people. So how can people get involved with the organization? Well, I was going to let you, I'll let you do that part, explain that part. Uh, how do they get involved with the boot campaign? Absolutely. Well, you can always go on the website and uh, check us out. Uh, when you go to the website, please take a look at the boots. Um, what we do with the boots is something special. You buy a set of boots and, and you put them on. It makes mm -hmm. a statement. You get a guy in a business suit wearing a pair <laughs> of combat boots and people notice him. They see him. It's like flying a flag in front of your house. The only difference is the flag stays in front of your house. This you can take to Walmart. You can go get your <laughs> hair done in them. You can go get a Tra cup of coffee. Traveling around, yeah. Absolutely. Spreading the message. And when people see you in combat boots, it's a conversation starter. It gets things rolling. And that's what it's about for us. It's about promoting that patriotism and cultivating that awareness within people to stand up and say that I support the troops and I stand behind this mission. Not only that, but the money that you spend on those boots, we turn around in our urgent assistance programs and we help vets. It definitely gets your attention, especially if it's a man in a suit Absolutely. <laughs> walking around with a military boots. Or a woman in a, in a nice little dress, too. Yeah. Those are my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Those are your favorite. Absolutely. Okay. Well said, Love sir. It. Well, thank you so much for coming in today on such a meaningful day uh, and spending the day with us. We appreciate it. I'm so glad that you were able to... Um, Help facilitate. Yeah, for sure. Well, I do anything I can do to help uh, these guys. The, uh, you know, they served us and continue to serve us, and and and, and we should serve you in in kind. Thank Absolutely. you so much for being here. For more information on the boot campaign, you can of course go to our website myfoxla.com, and hopefully you can connect. Thank you. So much. Yes. Well, thank you guys.
Um, so we've got this really touching story coming up. It was their 57th wedding anniversary, but his wife was in the hospital and her husband didn't want to miss the, ser the, ser the important day, right? The so very he decided day. to do something about it. We're going to show you what he did and how he surprised her. This might make you cry too. Yeah, but in a different it. way. In a different yeah. way. I'm a crier you're now. You're a crier. Jeez. You're a crier. Do you see him cry? 